My name is Travis Lindsay. I've lived in uh, Freeport my whole life. This is our family's business, Bird's Foot Golf Club, and it's been around for 20 years. So we're very proud of it, and we're proud to be a part of Freeport. What I love about Freeport is the uh, community, um, knowing people when you go into stores, knowing people uh, when you see them on the street, being able to say hello to them. Uh, there's a warmth in that, and that's what I love about Freeport. Well, I love um, the Shoop building has always been one because Mr. Shoop was down there selling clothes to us when we were kids and he was always playing cards in the back and then now looking at it it's a beautiful building and it has a lot of history too. Uh, my grandfather moved here from Pittsburgh when he was uh, in the 40s and uh, he married my grandmother and they built a farm on the other side of this creek that's uh, the valley's right behind us. He bought this farm in 1967. It's really a beautiful area and we're really lucky to have come here to live. This is our family's business. The five of my uncles and aunts, uh, back in 1999, 2000, decided to turn what was called the AV Farm, that's what we used to call this up here, into uh, Bird's Foot Golf Club. Uh, it took a while to figure out the name. Bird's Foot, it's called Bird's Foot because there's a, a trefoil or a hay that you see, uh, they actually use it as a ground cover, and they used it a lot more before they developed crown vetch. But it's a very hardy plant, and actually the third and fourth hole of the golf course are on the far side of the golf course and uh, they used to my grandfather used to make hay over there and they'd bring the wagon back across and the 18th green there was a barn and the seeds from the bird's foot trefoil would fall and so there was bird's foot trefoil uh, all around the farm so we thought it was a fitting name it was also kind of simple and started with the b well i think if you're an investor looking to invest in freeport the location the physical features of it it's in a beautiful location the entrance when you come down the hill into freeport there's very few towns that have that kind of entrance in all the towns i've ever been to so when you come down that hill it's really beautiful um, and I think you have the river and then the creek comes in. And when you look at that town, it's just such a picturesque little town. Um, you know, it's something that you can't create otherwise other than the natural, you know, where it is. It's just, a, it's a beautiful town, I think, for starters. The location um, with how close it is to Pittsburgh and ease of access to um, all those areas that you're really close to Pittsburgh. You know, it's only 20 mile, 20 minutes away or 25 minutes away or something. Um, so I think that those are all very, very attractive things. And this is my wife, Virginia. Hi, I'm Virginia Lindsay. Uh, my business is Ginger Cake Patterns and I design sewing patterns for a living. And I teach uh, sewing basics on YouTube. Um, I've written three books on sewing and um, I plan to write more. And I've lived in Freeport for 20 years. I came here to be with Travis. When I, the first time I came here, I just thought it was such a charming, beautiful town when uh, he brought me here to meet his family. And then I've just really loved living here. It's just, I love a small town. I'm from Atlanta originally, and uh, I grew up there. And I love Atlanta, but I'm always happy to come back to Freeport. It's just a small town. It's a great feel. People are kind. It's just a, a great way, place to raise a family and live your life. And, and we are small, small business, business owners. owners. <laughs> Okay. We'll do it one more time. I'll let's do say three. we are. We're. No. We're. Let's say no. We are. Let's say we are. No Pittsburghies. <laughs> All right. So I'll do three, two, one, and when I point, that's okay. when you guys okay. will say. And we're small. No, we are. We oh, are. We are. Small business. <laughs> we are. Okay. All right. Three, two. And we, we are, are small, small business, business owners. owners.